we are confident that the new system will enable us to tap into the market and ensure that there's increased exploration. There's a viewer where people can view exactly where rights are, rights that are under in process, under application, rights that are granted, open land. That's been the question that we've had for the last seven years, where is the land that's available? Now, now one can view that for every different commodity in the country. There are 52 different minerals in this country and you can go through and select each one of them. Over and above that you can see where the towns are, where the built-up areas are. You can see um, uh, all, the, all the environmental features, water bodies, parks, reserves. You can see all of that kind of thing. People can make informed decisions about whether they can or can't. Uh, invest. With this new system, and as, as the Minister has also highlighted, it will be going in terms of reviewing the Act. We felt that the new system we need to have as many layers as possible. Benefit of that, the system comes along with 276 layers on it that you can activate. Of course, if you activate all of them at the same time, that it might have a negative impact in terms of the performance while we are busy loading. But the benefit that comes with that, as I've said, first and foremost, is the layers that are made available. You can be able to view what era is available, who has applied, if there is a pending application. And as the minister also mentioned, in terms of avoiding the double granting issue, so if there is an existing right, they will be able to pick it up right from the, 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 that point and the system will actually prompt you as to what is the status of that error that you've selected. We make information easily available so that people who are serious and genuinely committed to working and uh, doing exploration in mining can begin to tap into that sector. But more importantly, we need to use the system to grow exploration sector in South Africa, which currently is not growing at the way a rate supposed to have. Information relating to layers of various commodities is easily made available so that people who want to invest can do that with relative ease. Environmental issues, we know that have been provided by South African National Biodiversity Institute, Sanbi, who's providing us with, with, with those uh, layers. So as and when they update their information, it automatically gets updated to our system. As and when we're experiencing any challenges with the system, we are, be, we are, we are able to, to assist you at any given time. People who are not aware that they're supposed to register as a user first, it's part of the management tool that we've built in to say, as much as it's open for everyone, but we'll also want to know who's visiting the site at any given time and then and, and of course for security reasons. Through the system we'll be able to see where are challenges, where are delays and we can as management take corrective actions, make interventions in a sustainable manner and ensure that there's growth of mining in South Africa because as you know it's one of the key economic drivers in our new growth path.